Hi, SuperSpheres here, back with my answer I mentioned the New Game Plus 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 video, episode 198, and we are, um, it's been, it's been a while since last episode, probably too long, I have 7 million Infinity Bosonic Runes, hundreds of thousands of Eternity Bosonic Runes, over 10,000 Quantum Bosonic Runes, and 15 billion Bosonic Antimatter. I also have over a double, what, a W? <laughs> 1 million W plus bosons, no W minus bosons, which means... Crazy fast oscillation speed. You can just see how fast it is here, which is going to definitely increase the speed at which I get W plus and W minus bosons. I can also use this with the quantum bosonic runes to get probably another triple on, on that. But probably I should get the bosonic upgrades instead because I have a lot. I can get quite a bit. I can get this, this, and this. So, yeah, that means I'm going to be getting. Um, I'm going to be getting more free galaxies from, like, dilated time. I'm going to be boosting the effect of light empowerments. And I will be, um, sacrifice ga galaxies cancel less based on your free galaxies. So I think I just get a lot more galaxies. And, of course, the light empowerments are going to be a lot stronger. Just going to really help things. You can see I'm almost back up to E100 quadrillion antimatter. I could try to get some quantum bosonic runes. It's still kind of slow unfortunately so can't really do all that much i could try to i mean there's the higgs bosons produce more bosonic ants matter but that doesn't really do much i i really want to get this upgrade here it's ghost of eyes and dilated time power up each other actually maybe that isn't all that good i'm also I'm so close to 7.5 million i could just go for infinity bosonic runes because thing is that I'm so close, except the problem is I need 5 trillion bosonic antimatter. So, I probably instead I should just get something like, I could even max enchants here. Which, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. It may not be the best idea. I don't really think I need, actually it wasn't the best idea. Because, the thing is I could just get a few levels of this. Just like, three levels of this. And then max that. It still gets me most of the speed here, but it gets me a three times boost to that. I'm also gonna um, just I'm just gonna use the enter key to just level this up to a good level without spending an exorbitant amount of infinity and eternity bosonic runes. So yeah, hopefully this is a good level, and you can see just I, I think it's gonna be a lot easier to like decay. W plus and W minus bosons and just keep oscillating the Z boson. At this point, I'm, I'm just going to alternate between um, oscillating the Z boson and decaying the W boson and converting to W W minus to W plus. I also could try to go in Big Grip to see if I can get anything. I do have a lot more antimatter in Big Grip than before, so I'm also up to 10 radioactive decays in each branch, which is new. I can also get up to 98 rewards easily and maybe 99 so it's definitely quite a bit better than what i was getting before i'm also really close to an 11th radioactive decay here i probably just need e2 not there's 298 here and then that probably means that at e299 i'll be able to get an 11th radioactive decay so i i will wait for that but other than that i think i'm just gonna go i'm gonna do most of it outside of big rip and just Mostly just trying to grind Z bosons, W plus bosons, and W minus bosons. And, and, yeah, just W plus bosons. I'm getting rid of the W minus ones. And hopefully, I'll be able to get more. Maybe I should try to go for um, Gilsley Bosonic Rune to this point. Um, it is still 21,000 seconds left to extract, which means I'll be getting four per day. That still may be a good amount i mean the thing is there's you gain more balsonic battery i don't really think that's all that important and then there's also um divide the requirement of higgs and start with some balsonic upgrades even it is inactive that, that, that's bad wording but um i really think even at this point i should just go like quantum balsonic runes or something else i could also just Max this enchant to try to get more balsonic antimatter. It's not really all that much. I could try to just level this up, level this one up like crazy because I have the potential to get like right right now I'm at um ten thousand eight hundred levels. 
but I have the potential to reach 750,000 levels of this, which should increase the power of this upgrade by about eight times. So that's pretty good. And also, I think at this point, yeah, I have the 11 through 8 out of decay, which means more spins and everything. 99 rewards. I could go for 100, but I don't really need 100. I don't think it's that important. I think it's more important just to maybe go outside of Big Rip and just grind stuff like that. I don't... Um, I'm up to 16 ultraviolet light, so I am getting closer to the next light empowerment, but it's not really all that close. I mean, yeah, I, th I think these Bosonic upgrades are just, are just gonna be the things that really change it up. And also, I have the runes for the next, at least the next upgrade. So hopefully I will easily be able to get the next upgrade and progress further. So yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back about maybe 15 or so hours later, and I have 191 million Z bosons, 44 million W plus bosons, and it's really good, but also I noticed I forgot to enable this enchant here, so yeah, I was, I was a little dumb. It wouldn't have been that big a deal, but still, I would have had over 600 million Z bosons. And the thing is here, I can get another Bosonic upgrade. Ghost of Ice now, dial at a time, power up each other. So that's really good. E100 more dial at a time is going to help a ton with with just many things. And like, for example, I'm, I'm now, you can see I'm, how many ghostly rays I'm getting. And actually the limit of ghostly rays is now increasing so fast that the rate at which I get them is now, the, is now limiting it instead of the limit of ghostly rays. So that, that's pretty amazing. And I guess I can probably go into Big Rip again. Um, still can't really gain a lot of ghost particles here. I have four, E1422 versus... Um, I, I mean, I can I can get a lot more neutrinos than I currently have, but... Um, the ghost particles is not <laughs> only E578. So I'm going to go into Nanofill. I can get up to 101 rewards. Tree Decay. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to get any more radioactive decays, but this still looks like about 8 orders of magnitude of spins. So, that that's decent, and I think I should just go out back out of Big Rip. Perhaps I, I can start getting neutrinos. Yeah, I'm actually up to E2199 neutrinos, so that's that's actually really good. That means that the Ghostify giving me neutrinos that barely does anything, and there's nothing else I can really do. I what I'm gonna do actually is I have enough Bosonic antimatter and enough Infinity Bosonic runes. To get this next um, upgrade, the replace first nanofail reward with the boost, the slow down dimension, supersonic sonic scaling. But here, um, I think I can max this enchant. It's going to be 167,000 levels. It's going to be as many quantable sonic runes as I currently have. I could also, of course, do it on the boosting the oscillating speed. So um, I'll probably just get a few levels of this. And the thing is that this requires, this just requires too many runes. I may even want to try to go for this one, but um, I, I, don't, I don't think. I mean, I, I'm close to the amount of runes I need. And, but the thing is, with, with both Sonic and Matter, I'm just not even close. So, I'm just going to upgrade this enchant by a few levels to get it up to maybe level 20. And then just put the rest in two here. And I still have enough Infinity Bosonic Runes to get this upgrade. So, yeah, that's pretty pretty nice. Um, right now, it says it would automatically take 164 runes per second. Well, it looks like this is only 124 per second. So I need to upgrade this more. I really don't want to just max it because then I lose all my Infinity Bosonic Runes. And I, do, I really don't want to do that. So, instead, I'm just going to keep doing it like this. And I, I know it's dumb, but this is what I'm going to do anyway. I'm just using the enter key to just buy levels of this. I really don't want to max something like this. So, I think at this point, I just want to oscillate Z-Boson. And this is going to be pretty powerful. Because it's, it's not really getting really useful to have four Bosonic enchantments going at once. So, like, that's something I never had before Higgs-Boson. So... Yeah, it's like I can get I can get runes and efficiently oscillate 
um, the Z neutrino, like with both of these enchants going at once, which is really powerful. That's going to allow me to get a lot more W plus and W minus bosons. Yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later, and you can see I can get both of these upgrades, which is really nice because this is going to allow me to get, yeah, qu quite a lot of stuff here. It's boosting the first Nanofiller War. I, th I think I already explained this, so I'm not going to explain it again. I probably also should try to get some Infinity Balsonic Runes at this point because I'm, I'm close enough that... Like, I have enough Bosonic Antimatter to get this next upgrade here. And I just need 7.5 million. I'm about 1.6 million away from it. And maybe now is is the time where I should just max this. Or maybe I won't max it because I, I don't... <laughs> I'm really not sure. I think it's still slow enough that it's not really going to do... I, I'm, I'm really not sure. I, again, I, I don't want to max it, but this is just, it's 2,000 per second, approximately. Which means that it would take about 15 minutes to get the next upgrade. Um, I don't think it's worth maxing it. So, I think at this point, I should just, maybe it is worth maxing it at this point. Like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. It's annoying, but I think this is something I needed to do anyway. So, I'm going to max this first, and then... Just get a ton of levels of this. I know, it's unfortunate, but this is what I have to do. So, yeah, I also can get quite a few levels of this as well. It's 516 levels. I'm not sure if I really want to max it again. I think I may just want to do this instead. Actually, I, I can get... It's not only... Oh yeah, these, this is taking away a lot of quantum side runes, but all I really want to spare is just like... 10,000 of them, so it's not that big of a deal. Except it's the Eternity Bosonic Runes I'm also losing, so yeah, I should have just maxed that. Whatever, I guess I can get more levels of this one, except it doesn't really do much. As you can see, it just stays at 1.02 times. So, yeah, I don't, I don't need Eternity Bosonic Runes for um, this one at all. So, I'm, I'm fine on that. And I guess maybe I can just max this to get rid of all the rest of the Eternity Bell Sonic Runes. Maybe now I should go into Big Ripper. At least I just should just check stuff. E2328 Neutrinos. Um, Ghostly Photons, 20 Ultraviolet Light. I'm getting closer to the next light environment. If I go into Big Rip, E92 Billion in Big Rip, which I feel like is close to the record. And if I go into like Nano Field, 102, I'm not gonna get 104, unfortunately, but it's still going to be pretty good. I'm, I don't think I can get the next Red Act of Decay now. I mean, I could really grind for it and possibly get it, but I don't really need that. So, still, still a nice boost in spins. And, yeah, I think what I'm just going to do, I'm going to oscillate the Z-Boson because now this is a ton faster. It's actually Balsonic Antimatter is boosting this, and I'm getting a ton of Balsonic Antimatter. So, yeah, that's... That, that's pretty cool. Also, I have enough Balsonic Battery that I could, if I wanted, start using that. But it's still very expensive. So, yeah, I'm just going to oscillate the Z-Neutrino. This will allow me to get faster decay speed and everything. And, yeah, there's not much I can do here. Hopefully, next episode, I will be able to get the rest of these upgrades. And, perhaps, episode 200, I'll be getting the second Higgs boson. Or, maybe it'll just be... Episode 200, I'm just going to go over the rest of the episodes just because 200 episodes. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.